Hey everybody, Mike here. So I'm going to show you how to do a metallic epoxy floor coating that looks like this. And the homeowners are, of this house are retired military and they both worked at the Pentagon. So they're, they're actually building their house to look like the Pentagon. It's shaped the same way. And they hired us to come in here and, and do a finished epoxy floor coating right on their concrete floors. So the first thing we do is, is we got to prep the concrete. Now the concrete was in pretty good shape. It was power trialed nice and smooth. So in order for us to get the epoxy floor coating to adhere to it, we got to grind the surface and, and put a good profile on it for the epoxy to bond to it. So we grind it with our walk behind floor grinders. I got a buffer here that has diamond grinding pads on it. We get a good profile on the concrete. And once we've done that, Next thing we got to do is get it clean, get all that dust off there. So we got to vacuum it, and we use, we use a really good vacuum for that. It's a HEPA vacuum. And then what else? The other thing we do is we're going to wipe the floor down with a microfiber mop with denatured alcohol, and that'll pick up any of the fine, loose dust particles that the vacuum didn't get. And you'd be surprised how much, how much dust is left over after vacuuming this thing twice. So we'll go over it. Like this with a with a microfiber mop, pick up all the dust. And then the first thing we do to start the, the epoxy floor coating is we put down a primer epoxy. And this is just a clear primer. And what the primer does, it does a couple things. It it soaks down into the concrete, so it helps fill up all the little pores in the concrete. Concrete's really porous, so it'll fill up all the pores and give the the next coating of epoxy a really good base to bond to it so this is us this is a water-based epoxy a two-part water-based epoxy this is it's also a moisture blocking epoxy so if there was any moisture coming up from the sub base this would block that moisture too but so this goes down white and then it'll dry clear and it's it's really viscous so it soaks down into the concrete really well and like I said, it'll block any any microscopic pores, push out all the little air in those pores, and, and give you a nice smooth coating. So this is what it looks like after. Now what we're doing now, this is the next day, now we're putting the base coating down to this metallic floor. Whenever we do our metallic floors, it's basically four different stages. So we got prep, we got the primer, we got the base coat, and then we got the the metallic coat and then the top coat. So it's, it's kind of like five stages, I guess. So with this with this metallic coating, we decided to do a, just a plain gray epoxy base. And this stuff goes down at about 120 square feet a gallon. Anyway, it's between 100 and 120 square feet a gallon. And we got 3,000 square feet here. So, you know, it, it was pretty close to 30 gallons of epoxy just in the base coat itself. Now the primer coat went down at about 350 square feet a gallon, so that goes down a lot thinner than the space coat. And we just roll that down. It's it's somewhat self-leveling, so you know we got one guy moving it around with a squeegee at first, and then and then you got me there. I'm just kind of back rolling it, making sure it's all nice and level. And then we just let it sit overnight and dry up. And that's basically how we do the base coat. So this is the next day. We'll, we'll show up and we'll, we may have to sand that base coat a little bit, get out any little bit of imperfections, and then clean up that dust. And then what we do is we mix up the, the metallic epoxy coating, and then we just dump it, dump it all over the floor. We do, you know, three-gallon kits, so I'm dumping out three gallons at a time. And this stuff goes down at about 50 to 60 square feet a gallon, so it's a lot thicker. So we'll actually mix up, this color here is gunmetal, we'll mix up six gallons of that gunmetal and dump it all out and then the the highlighting color is titanium which is what I'm dumping out right now so we'll mix up a gallon and a half kits of that and we'll just kind of spread that throughout like we're doing here and then kind of just blend it together to get to get a really cool looking effect you'll see at the end of the video there's a couple ways you could do the highlights. You could roll out all the gunmetal, all that dark epoxy first, get that all rolled out, and then spread the highlights on that after. Or you could mix it in like, like we're doing here and just kind of blend it in. You can see 
Luke's kind of moving it around with a squeegee, just blending it a little bit together. And then I'm going around with a roller. And I got an 18 inch roller here and I'm just kind of moving it around a little bit more, making sure that it looks kind of natural. And then we'll just leave it and let it flow. It's going to flow a little bit on its own after we're done. I could use a, a six inch roller to do this. I could use a nine inch roller. Um, just because it was 3,000 square feet, I decided to use a, a little bit bigger roller just to do the final kind of spreading around. Now here we are. So this is the day after. So this is day four now. And we're putting on a clear top coat. You can see how nice and smooth that that epoxy dried it levels out just like glass and what the top coat is it's a polyurethane and that what that does is it it helps protect the epoxy the polyurethane is a little bit more scratch resistant a little more chemical resistant and it's just going to help protect the epoxy from getting all scratched up a lot better than if you just left it with epoxy so here we are here we are the next day when it's all finished. So here's the floor we're doing. It's a reflector enhancer metallic epoxy we're putting down. It's about 3,000 square feet. All kinds of different rooms. It just has a natural flow to it. This is two different colors. It's gunmetal and titanium. And this is what it looks like when you put it down. So let me know down in the comments guys if you would really want to learn how to do this I, I can make a tutorial or a course for you that teaches you exactly how to do this and you could add it to your services or you could you could do this just for a business on its own um, and, and again I appreciate you watching and this is the finished product what it looks like and we're gonna see you on the next video